Well, hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about a few things you can do with your iPad. iPads are incredible tools that people use to get their work done and get it done well. I wanna show you a few things that you can do to be the absolute most productive that you can be. When you're using your iPad, there are a few main ways that you can get more productivity if you just understand the platform better. So we're gonna look at the top five ways you can get more out of your iPad. All right, the first one is this. If you swipe up from the bottom right, you can use your Apple Pencil. All right, all right here, I got the Apple Pencil Pro. Really like the Apple Pencil. You can swipe up on your Apple Pencil just like this and you can bring up a note where you can start drawing if you need to. Um, or if you just have, you know, if you don't have your Apple Pencil Pro connected, you can use it to type on. If you're like me and you've ever been on a call, like a, maybe you're on a Zoom call, some kind of meeting, and you don't have a notepad around, you like really just need something to jot things down, this is a really great tool when you do this. Let me do it real quick with, you know, just my finger. You could do this and then just like that, you see how you kind of can type on it. It typed everything out. <laughs> looks terrible, but it works really well. You know, if you're if you're just doing little notes kind of thing, it's a it's an awesome little tool. Um, I've used it a lot, specifically when I'm on like a Zoom call. I've used it when I'm on Teladoc for my kids, and I'm I'm like, you know, when your kid is sick, you don't really know what to do. You're kind of freaking out, and so it's really helpful just to know that no matter what, wherever you are, if you are you know on your home screen and you just swipe up from the bottom, you can bring that note up anytime. It is an incredibly helpful tool. The next thing people don't realize is you can use browser extensions on Safari on the iPad. Now the way that you get there is you go to your settings app, scroll down until you find Safari. Then when you're on Safari, if you go down near the bottom, it says extensions, you click that. It'll have a list of your extensions on the actual iPad, or you can click more extensions and it goes into the app store where you can find more extensions for your iPad. The next tip to get the most out of your iPad is have a place to work where you're gonna work the same type of work at the same time every single day. For me, this has been incredibly helpful. I write a ton of sermons and so I try to do it in the mornings in the exact same chair every single day. That way when my like I sit down in that chair, my brain switches immediately into study mode. If your context switching too much or you're moving about and you're kind of working in different places, it's not helpful for you because your brain is wired with neuroplasticity so that it, it gets into a certain mode wherever you sit down. And so if you're kind of more creative person, make sure you're sitting at the same desk or make sure you're sitting in the same chair at the same time of day and your brain will thank you. And with that in mind, if you want to talk about a good chair, let's talk about today's sponsor, FlexiSpot with their Lotus chair. All right, quick pause. I got to tell you about this chair that I've been using lately and it has absolutely blown my mind and it really has changed the way that I work and it's changed the way most importantly for me the way that I relax. Listen, I can work way too much and it's helpful to have a chair that really does help you relax. This is the Lotus recliner from FlexiSpot and let me just say Man, this thing is built for maximum comfort. It's got a spacious 20.9 inch seat and wide armrests that are really squishy and really comfortable, which means anytime I wanna sit upright, I can do it. If I wanna sit sideways, I can do it. Cross-legged, not a problem, you name it, this chair can handle it. And whether I'm editing or reading or you know, I'm just sitting around watching Netflix and I wanna be really cozy, this chair can do it. But here's the best part about this chair, it both swivels and it rocks back and forth. This is a game changer, especially if you have kids. I mean, my kids are a little bit older now but I remember when they were kids and you just sit in a regular chair and kids need to be moving all the time especially if they, they cry a lot all that stuff being in a chair that you can rock back and forth it is an absolute game changer it makes it so for me now with my kids as old as they are I still just love rocking back and forth man I will fall asleep real fast in this thing and what's really awesome when I'm you know worked a whole work day and I just really need a break then I can lean back and it reclines effortlessly it actually lets you kick your legs up it is so comfortable to pull off just a quick little nap. And another thing I love about this is it has a concealed storage. And so I can leave my Kindle in there, any books that I'm reading right there, and it looks really beautiful. And if you have the electric version, it has a USB charging port in it, it's really functional. And so if you're somebody who spends a lot of time at your desk, or you just want a chair that actually helps you relax and you can actually take a nap in, this chair is a game changer. Check it out using my link below. And if you use the code LOTUS30, you'll get another $30 off plus free shipping. That is a huge deal. And FlexiSpot's gonna be running their brand day deal soon, so there's gonna be more savings coming up. So go ahead and pick one of these up. Your back will thank you. You're gonna get the best sleep on the chair that you've ever gotten before. Thank you, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump back into it. All right, the next big tip for your iPad is how you can customize Control Center. The way you do that 
is you, like I said, you go into your settings app like this, you go down to the second one just under general and you go to control center. Once you're in control center, you can find all these different things that you can add to it. And so for me, you know, say you have a smart home, you can add the home button to your home one. Uh, you can also do music recognition. I know a ton of people who, you know, are always trying to find out what music's playing when you're at a coffee shop or something like that. Having your iPad so that you can just swipe down and have those new things in your control center, as you can see, it happens right here. Uh, having those for a quick access menu, man, it makes uh, such a huge time saver if you're constantly going through your iPad and trying to find, like, to get to your utilities and you don't want to always go to those different apps. Having it in your control center it's a game changer. The next thing is that you can drag and drop between apps. Say I wanted to take this beautiful picture of my wife. We had a great, you know, day over at this day date that we did, and I wanted to bring it into a journal entry right here, and I brought it in, great day date at this place. You can drag and drop between apps is what I'm trying to say. It's pretty cool. That's a funny picture of my wife now. Or say you have something like a quote from a book and you just wanted to grab it. This is from Gavin Ortland's Gentle and Lowly. Maybe I was trying to find like, man, where did I have this quote saved? See how when I pick it up, it moves around with me. Then I did this, I went into Safari and I dropped it in right there. And all of a sudden I can find where that quote comes from immediately. So that was dragging and dropping between apps. It is super helpful. The next one is this, that you can actually open up something like Spotlight. So all you do to get Spotlight, you drag down from the middle of your device and you can do 10. Another small tip is when you're on the regular view with the, the letters, you can pull down on them to pull up the numbers. So say I did 10 times two and it's right there in Spotlight. I can copy it and paste it somewhere else. It just makes it so that you, you're like, the steps to get the answer you need are super fast. And for me with the work that I do, man, speed is everything, but I have, I have so many different responsibilities. I wanna get them done quick. So let me know in the comments below, did you find any of these tips helpful? Maybe you have a few tips of your own that you wanna share with us. Let us know. I wanna help you become the best iPad user you can. And if you like this video, go ahead and check this video out right here. I'll see you guys in the next one.